Hi guys, hope y'all are doing amazing. So, I'm filming this video after I think a week. I haven't filmed a video in a long time um, because of whatever is going around and because of the coronavirus threat and, and other lot of other issues. And believe me, I was not in a mood to film a video. But I asked online on my Instagram and uh, asked if you guys are interested in watching a makeup look and uh, if that's something um, which can take your mind off of whatever is happening around us right now whatever the time of uncertainty and anxiety uh, a lot of you guys uh, encouraged me to go ahead and film a video so i thought let's do a chatty kind of video and uh, not a you know straight up two minute three minute review video so i asked a lot of you guys to leave questions for me so this is going to be ask shalini kind of a video where i'll be answering uh, questions which you guys have asked related to life parenting skin care, skin hair care makeup lot of stuff so this is going to be a very raw makeup look raw video and i'll be talking about a lot of stuff in this video and uh, we'll see how this goes i think this will be really good idea to do something um, different from my regular stuff this one is going to be a long one so i washed my makeup brushes the other day and uh, well and whenever i'm using any brush i'm going to uh, tell you which brush is it which brand and number so you guys can save it and buy once everything settles down i will highly recommend you guys to not spend your money unnecessarily right now because there is so much uncertainty going around so save the video save the uh, links that i'm going to leave in the description box or you can do one thing add the products in the cart and leave it there and once everything settles down you can go ahead and make the purchase um, I have washed my face. I have nothing on. I have just a little bit of this Dear Packer. This is a sleeping. This is a lip sleeping mask, and it looks like this. Like it looks like a thick gel. And believe me, this is like revolutionary. I've never used a lip sleeping mask, and this one is so 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 good. It was sent to me by the PR, and I was very excited because I had never tried lip mask and this is really good it actually makes your lips so soft and supple in the morning so during the daytime also whenever i'm feeling like my lips are dry i use this and if you use it in the night you don't really have to struggle with um, uh, reapplication of lip balm next day because it makes the lips really really soft and on the top of it i have applied the ph lip balm from Oops. ph lip balm from my glam so this is a colored lip balm and this is one of those formulas which you apply on the lips and it uh, reacts to your skin's pH and uh, changes color. So if I apply directly on my lips, it kind of clings onto the patches, the color. And if I apply a lip balm, a clear lip balm and on the top of it, if I apply it very lightly, it just gives this beautiful flush of uh, color to the lips. And I have been using it for, I think, I have using, I've been using this technique for almost 4-5 or five months now. A lot of you guys ask me how I got rid of my lip pigmentation. But in reality, I haven't. And it's just that I apply a tinted lip balm on the top of my clear lip balm. So I'm applying the Gleam Elixir. It's like an oil. And it's going to make my skin glowy when I apply a foundation on the top of it. And the weather has turned really hot here in Delhi. So while we do... The makeup let's quickly talk about let's really take the first question which is by Subhashri Mishra and uh, the question is good light moisturizer for summer so this first one is going to be the response light moisturizer it was right here next to me second is going to be Sugandha's white lotus which is a really good tested and tried moisturizer very very good quality very beautiful formula I am right now using this face is HD foundation and for my brush i'm using europe girl uh, foundation brush this is like a dome shaped very dense brush and this is what am i doing and this is eg045 so uh, yeah and then the next good moisturizer for uh, summers would be uh, ceramide moisturizer from requil next question is how to tell your kids stop doing something which is not good for them without scolding them this is a question from parenting section and I think um, what I do with my daughter is I explain her why I am um, asking her not to do certain things. 
for example if i'm asking her uh, for example not to um, shout unnecessarily or not to misbehave with uh, any particular person i tell her that they will feel bad in for example if i'm asking her not to waste food i tell her that there are a lot of people um, in the world who don't even get to eat food and you are getting food and everything and there are a lot of people who don't even get one meal so that's how you have to teach your uh, kids about compassion and uh, um explain them things why are you saying no if your kid is really small like really young like one or two years old you have to scold them there is nothing you can do about it because that age is not about understanding they don't understand you have to keep on asking them to not do things and they will do it and uh, that's the only time i scolded my daughter because you know they don't understand because they are very young to understand anything so if your kid is around before you do not ask them ki i maine mana kiya isliye mat karo nahi nahi this will not work you have to tell them why you are asking them not to do certain thing and they will understand because you have to build that kind of rapport with them which is going to help you a lot in the years to come that's how i have built my rapport with my daughter and uh, a lot of you guys who follow me on instagram know about my daughter and have been um asking me a lot of stuff about her if you are interested in watching a video dedicated to how i take care of her hair skin and everything else and how i how am i raising her i don't know uh, let me know do you feel the need of socializing more not now but after corona virus um see i was never a um, social person not much social i'm not anti social but i am kind of um, i love to stay indoors i love to spend time with my family i love to create i mean you know when i stay indoors i can create makeup looks i can do something else like cook i love cooking and all so i think i should have a balance of and you know a social life and a personal life because right now my social life is really like if i stay rated on a scale of 1 to 10 and 10 is the highest it's somewhere somewhere around 2 or 3 so it's really bad so i would love to socialize more when everything um, is over and uh, i will go out because my husband and i decided that i will really dedicate at least one saturday every week one day every week uh, to go out and enjoy the two of us because you know how life is you don't get with time to spend with each other right now we have all the time to spend with each other yeah so yes i will socialize more because i think it's required for my mental health as well next i'm going to use this concealer from pack which is birthday suit next question is please suggest some good foundation shade for indian dry skin people foundation shade shade i cannot recommend but yes if you ask me about the foundation the foundation i'm using right now faces hd foundation it is really good for dry skin and my skin is looking a bit too dewy believe me i have dry skin and i don't really like extremely dewy skin but yeah i thought of doing something different <laughs> even if it backfires so i'm using the celestial sponge from plume this is such a good such a good sponge i really really like it i'm using it dry right now um uh, because i'm just using it to set my under eye makeup i'm not going to use it on my foundation so and honestly i forgot to wet it before sitting here and i just don't want to get up and go and wet it now so that's how i'm using it so yeah living as wins my hair have become extremely dry after pregnancy please suggest me some good products so uh, first thing first you have to oil massage your hair no matter what you have done to your hair you know even after pregnancy lot of women face this issue they face the issue of hair fall they face the issue of um, balding and the hair thinning i think taking care of what you eat and the stress level plus the products you apply is really important i always stress on using a good hair oil by good hair oil means you must look into the ingredients you do your own research as well for example if a brand is selling um, an oil on the name of uh, you know hair regrowth or uh, um hair for control you have to look into the ingredients and research mm. and see whether it is actually an ingredient that will work on regrowth and hair thinning and then buy I personally love hair oils from Juicy Chemistry. Uh, Vilva is really good, and then I, right now I'm using um, 
fenugreek hair serum from uh, the earth rhythm i apply it on my scalp and on my hair i'm using juicy chemistry sacha inchi butter um, hair mask it's such a good product see i i applied both of them today in the morning and then i washed my hair after i think 2 3 hours and my hair is looking so good and i definitely i have blow dried them because they were looking like crazy but yes that's a really good uh, product so you look up uh, try orthridum fenugreek hair serum or juicy chemistry hair style and chili hair regrowth serum both are really good next is summer skin care routine for clear and glowing skin as per oily skin so i cannot suggest you guys products for oily skin because my skin is very dry uh, but i will do a video on my current skin care routine once i get everything in place and once my mind is in place i think i will do a skin care routine my current skin care routine very very soon so so next is agar main delivery ke baad job chhod kar apne bacche ko khud care karna chahu is that a bad decision so someone has asked if she leave, if she leaves her job to take care of her kid after delivery would that be a bad decision no i don't think it's a bad decision in fact it totally depends on the financial situation of uh, you if your husband is earning enough to take care of you your kid and himself there is no harm because that's what i did when i was uh, when i when i got pregnant and i delivered a baby i left my job at that time my husband my mother in law and my father in law were working and i did not have a choice but i do not regret it one bit because i have really enjoyed my time with my daughter you know the bonding and the love and the friendship and the understanding you create when you stay with your kid is like unbeatable and um, those who work those who have to work because uh, of a lot of reasons some of us do not want to do, depend on our spouse for financial help and everything they are doing a commendable job as well so i don't think there is a harm or there is anything to feel guilty of when you do not want to work and want to spend your life and time with your kid there is no harm next is uh, which movie book series made you laugh out loud and was a stress buster uh i don't think i have watched a series uh that was comic <coughs> i will mention i think i saw uh no i haven't i don't really watch comedy series i generally watch supernatural intense drama fight and all which is so stupid i know uh, but i enjoy that kind of content so i watch those videos uh, i watch those series so no i have not watched anything funny in a long time if you guys have any recommendations let me know next i'm going to apply a little bit of powder i'm using my kiko bake powder and i'm so happy to show you guys that i have hit pan can you see you can see you can see that i have hit pan on it already i will be using it regularly and uh, will hit pan and get rid of it because you know i'm bored of it so i'm going to set my makeup a little bit next question is what's your thought okay aapki love marriage hai ya arranged marriage mine is love kam arrange i am shivastav my husband is a sikh um, sadar he is uh, he's a dhillo and uh, it was a love kam arranged marriage we met in 2006 end and we dated for 3 years and we got married in 2009 mine is a love marriage love kam arranged marriage Next is morning rituals. I don't do anything specific. When I get up in the morning, I generally drink as much water as I can, and uh, then I move on to making breakfast and uh, the rest of the household stuff. So my morning ritual is very simple. Of course, I brush my teeth and freshen up in the morning. Does Gini trouble you that she too wants to try makeup? Uh, no, she doesn't. Uh, because I have told her that I will let her use makeup once she's of a certain age. because right now she's too young to use makeup so on my face i have used this brush this is powder brush of europe girl this is eg042 this is a bit scratchy so i will not recommend it so i i'll tell her that i will let her use makeup once she is of a certain age once she crosses 15 16 uh, but right now her skin is very delicate and she's too young to use makeup and i don't really want her to use makeup right now so she understands because i'm i'm not like I will never let you use makeup. Next time you think this Lakme 9 to 5 blush in the shade Coral Punch. This is a very beautiful blush and I'm using it with pack 245. How do you manage work and personal life both at the same time being a mother is tough job. Yes, it is. But you know, even if I were working a 9 to 5 job, I would have had to uh, manage everything. 
so I am blessed enough to not go to office and stay at home and work from home so not a very tough job to manage to be honest especially when Ginny is grown up she is 8 right now and when she was younger I used to um, uh, I did not get much time but right now I get a lot of time because she's quite understanding and uh, she has her own life she's into reading and all so with that ways I, I get a lot of time to film and do other stuff so see this blush is very beautiful I really love this blush it looks so beautiful it looks like your um, skin is really healthy and it's um, it's like has this beautiful healthy flush can you share your YouTube journey and how the whole thing happened? I have a blog. In fact, I started my blog in 2011, early 2011. And I was blogging for a really long time. I always wanted to do YouTube, but I never knew how am I going to uh, create the videos or how the response would be. So one day, I decided to shoot a video and I was like, okay, I'll upload it and see what will And then it was a swatch video and uh, the response was really good. I I used to get so much positive um, comments, so many positive comments from a lot of my subscribers. Even now, I get a lot of positive comments and that's what keeps me going. How much time it took for you to earn from YouTube? Did you feel motivated also? Okay. Uh, did you feel demotivated? So it took me a long time. I'll tell you, YouTube, when you start YouTube, you're not going to earn from first day onwards. It will take a long time because... Um, the CPC, you know, the cost per click here or the cost per view here is very low in India. Uh, even right now, I don't earn much. I have almost 1 lakh subscribers and my earning would be around, I don't know, 25k, 20-25k a month from YouTube, Google AdSense. Not more than that, which is not enough, honestly, but that's how it is. So, yeah. One skincare step you will never skip. I never skip washing my face. I am kind of um, I just cannot go to sleep with if I come from outside I have to wash my face uh, I feel like I have so much dirt sticking on my skin and I have to get rid of it otherwise I feel suffocated so that's something I never ever skip I'm not saying it just because I'm online but I'm telling you guys that that's something I always follow and I think that has helped me a lot Next is, how was your husband's response when you said that you want to start YouTube? Was it supportive? Yes, 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 yes. He has been really supportive from day one. He has been supportive with everything I do. I'm using Wet n Wild uh, Contour Kit and same uh, Europe Girl brush. And the highlight powder is gone completely. It broke and fell off. But bronzer is still there, so I'm using it. So, I am very blessed to have a husband like him. He is very supportive. He always supports me everything in everything I do. I can talk to him uh, about my next step. For example, if I'm planning to do something, I can always talk to him about it. He has been really, really supportive because initially when I was, when I started blogging and when I started YouTubing, there was no money. So he was uh, the one who used to uh, fund my purchases. He was the one who used to um, help me with everything. And uh, he has been a great help. And if he were not supportive, I wouldn't have started my YouTube channel. I'll be very honest. Two questions if you are comfortable answering. Your transition into beauty blogging. Okay. So, uh, if I tell you right now that I never used makeup, I never used makeup before marriage, you will be surprised. But yes, I never used makeup before I got married. I didn't even apply kajal or lipstick, nothing. Even after getting married for a really long time, I never applied anything. I just used to apply a lipstick and a liner because... I am married to a Sikh and the women here love to dress up and love to put on makeup. They look beautiful and I used to love makeup on them but I was really hesitant and shy to put makeup on me. But then I started doing it gradually, dhire dhire and uh, then I developed interest in it because I started beauty blogging. I used to create eye makeup looks for my blog and then it all started. Um, yeah. What is how your relationship story, uh, your relationship story, how you met, was it easy to convince parents and also. Uh, we met through common friends in 2006. It was not a blind date or anything. Um, our common friends were dating and they used to bring us with them. Chalo, tum bhi chalo karke. So that's how we met. Uh, we were very different in terms of personalities back then. My husband was very very funny and I was very very um, irritating. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> so he was very funny. He used to make me laugh. And he was very very compassionate very kind 
and with a very good character. But, uh, in three years time, uh, we realized that we want to take it ahead. And uh, I spoke to my mother, he came to my house and we got married when we were really young. So I got married when I was 24 and he was 23. And uh, he came to my house and he talked to my mother and he was like, okay, we want to get married and we want to have your blessings and everything. And that was a really bold step for a 23 year old guy. And it, it, I'm talking about uh, something that happened in 2008, 2008 end. So um, he spoke to my mom and uh, initially she was not um, happy about the whole situation because you know uh, when two people of different castes or different religion get married uh, a lot of people are involved and sometimes they do not feel happy about uh, you know, changing the traditions or um, I don't know they I think they fear the change or something so and when he talked to his parents um, surprisingly uh, his parents reacted very positively and uh, we spoke to our parents in around October 2008 and uh, we got engaged in November and we got married in February next year like in 2009 so it was a really really quick one what did you study what profession were you in before YouTube I have done a master's in human resources and I was a human resource uh, consultant in a consultancy next is how did your life change after marriage it changed for good I'll be honest but there were a lot of struggles initially I live with my in-laws so there were a lot of um, adjustments to be made from both the sides and when you get married um, even after marriage your life changes a lot even if you marry the same guy you were in love it, a lot of things change and uh, initially there was there was struggle for quite few years but everything got better with time because that's how a religion should be right you should evolve and grow and help each other so there are, do you have facial hair and if yes how do you suggest to remove I have very few facial hair. In fact, that's the reason why I don't have brows. That's what I'm going to do now. I'm using brow pencil from Nude Sticks. I don't have much facial hair. You guys can say thank God, but I will not because that's why my brows are really sad. Uh, but if I get hair on my upper lip, I get them threaded. And sometimes I uh, use appellator on my face on this area. I don't shave my face because shaving makes my skin really irritated and I kind of feel that my skin is burning after shaving because my skin is very dry and shaving makes it very sensitive so I don't shave my face I've done it only once and uh, I generally thread my brows my upper lips and my face I think for me threading is a better option because my skin cannot stand the friction of shaving. Can you use vitamin C serum in daytime as I'm office going? Yes, you can. Make sure to use a very good sunscreen on the top of it. I always use my vitamin C serum during the day because in the night I am generally using other serums and sometimes my AHAs. So yes. Next is how do you keep yourself motivated in these times? Oh. I am not motivated. I'm doing it because I think I thought it would make me feel better and I think it is because for a moment you forget about whatever is happening around you and you just uh, sit and talk to your camera. How cool does that sound? It doesn't sound cool. It sounds crazy. But uh, sitting here talking to you guys, doing my makeup takes my mind off of things that are that are happening right now. So yeah. Don't you want to have another baby? I'm sorry if I got too personal. No, I get this question a lot and the answer is no, I don't. Uh, because I don't think we need another baby. Uh, we are pretty happy with where we are right now. Because believe me, uh, there are a lot of commitments a baby requires. Even if you go for one, two or if you decide to go childless, there are a lot of things you have to decide. And with one, one kid that we have, we spend a lot of time with her and I take care of her studies, her food and everything. So child is a big commitment. So I do not really want to have another kid because I don't think I'm ready for it. And I don't think I, I need another kid. I'm very happy with where I am. And a lot of relatives ask this question. So it's not a new question for me, but I don't think I need another kid. I don't really want another kid. The next question is when you feel down, what do you do by yourself to boost your mood? I generally play with my daughter or I cook something 
और आई वॉच टी वी लेट्स ऑल आई डू वट ऑल इक्विपमेंट डेट यू यूज फॉर फिल्मिंग बिकॉज मेकअप डजेंट शो इन नॉर्मल लाइफ आई हैव अ रिंग लाइट हेयर राइट इन फ्रंट ऑफ मी and that's all i use and i have canon 80d camera i think camera picks if, if the camera quality is good it will pick up your makeup so yeah so i'm using this is all i need palette from tan beauty it has really beautiful color there as you can see and uh, it is an indian brand and shruti is the makeup artist who have created this beautiful eyeshadow palette so i'm going to use it i really wanted to use it for a long time So today I thought it's the right time to use such a beautiful palette. So I'm going to use um, this is Bed of Roses. I'm using this the Bed of Roses. So Bed of Roses is a dusty pink. Will work really well as a transition shade. And for what I have heard and seen so far, this palette has really good pigmentation. It's a bit expensive though. It's for twenty four hundred. But considering the pigmentation and the color selection here i think it's worth your money because it has some beautiful matte shades and a lot of metallic and glitter colors like pressed pigments and you see this brush is from zoeva and zoeva doesn't ship to india which is really unfortunate but this brush is going strong for the past 5 years or so yeah Next, I'm going to use Pack Three Ninety One this brush, and use Pinot Noir. Pinot Noir. I'm really sorry. What? How do you pronounce this one? This this one I'm using. This is like a darker brown with red undertone, and I'm using it on the outer V only, increasing the intensity. This palette is lovely. The matte shades are beautiful. See, the colors are so beautiful. They have blended it so real, so well. Next, I'm thinking of using Hoo Ha. It's a beautiful teal. Next, I'm using this Color Bar Blackout uh, Kajal pencil, very close to my upper lash line. And blending it out with a pencil brush. So on the outer, I'm going to use this color called Coal. I'm using the same coal on my lower lash line. This color. This is quite. dramatic quite smoky and use this one in the inner corner lashes are on lashes make everything look so dramatic so the eye makeup is done and i'm really really loving my eyes today they are very dramatic and very nice So next, I'm moving on to my lipstick, and I have I thought of wearing Helena, but Helena is pretty dark. So this is the finished makeup look. Uh, it has turned out really dramatic. I was not thinking of doing something um, so dark and dramatic, and my lashes are coming off. I don't like fake lashes, but I thought without fake lashes, I would not do justice to this makeup look. I have applied Sugar Satin Metal Lipstick in the shade Helena. I really like this color. This is a very dark plum color, and I thought it's going really well with the eye makeup look. You can use a lighter color. You can use a neutral color if you want to, but I personally love dark gothic looking makeup. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. It was a bit of chit chat and bit of get ready. 
let me know if you want me to do a video uh, sharing your assumptions and answering them in my next video because I want to keep these video chatty. I'm also thinking of uh, asking my husband to join in next time to do my makeup or something. Let's see. Uh, so if you have any questions for him, let me know. If you have any assumptions for me, let me know. I'm going to answer all of them in my next video. And I'll see you very, very soon in my next video. Till then, bye.